What's going on Warriors? It's your boy Lionheart. I'm back. Feels good man. Well, I probably ain't gonna do a video during the Christmas time, so I'm gonna say it now. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. Yeah, I said it early, I did, but you know, it's what it is. So, I've got a little bit of a surprise today. You can tell what it is already the Switch. So, I'm gonna be unboxing this, and I'm going to be talking to you about this console, why I've got it, and yeah, just everything to do with that. So, yeah. Let's get into it. So, unboxing the Switch. Now, I'll be very honest with you. There was a time when I had my finger on the pulse of video gamings. When I lived, ate, breathed, and slept video games. Times have changed. And maybe I'm not as... Oh, it's kind of smaller than I thought it would be. Hmm. The videos kind of makes it look a lot bigger. Interesting. That looks about the same size as my iPhone. It's actually sm way smaller than I thought it would be. It's actually like the size, it's, it's almost the size of my iPhone, actually. So let's get this out, so I'm taking it out. It is almost the same size as my iPhone. It's only slightly bigger than my iPhone. Huh. It's way smaller than I thought it would be. I don't know how I feel about that. Hmm. So that's the screen for the Switch. Now, essentially, the reason I got the Switch was... Uh, why did I get it? I was talking to my friend, um, Leo Gammy, And basically, he was telling me that he was interested... In, it does look clean. i got to admit, that does look super pristine and clean. I can't even front with that. It's got all these kind of like switches, all these ports and everything like that. Oh, that's got to be for the ventilation. Okay, no problem. It does look like a high-tech gadget. So, yep, that's the switch, the actual thing. Let me put this on my Corsair, my Corsair K95 RGB. <laughs> um, and these are... Alright, I see it. So these are the little... I'm actually surprised at how small they are. That's really, really small. Alright, let me give you a bit of a... That's how small it is. My finger. My finger is almost basically the same size as my index finger. Hmm. No problem. No problem. So, let me see. I think you... I think I saw the video to slide it. Okay, you do slide it. Okay. That does feel secure. So I was talking to my friend, Leo Gammy, and then he was saying to me that he's interested in getting the Switch. And he was, was going to get Monster Hunter on the Switch. And I said to him, look, you'll be playing that, the Monster Hunter with a bunch of strangers and on your own. Because I ain't getting the Switch. And I definitely play playing Monster Hunter on there. But after, I started to give it a little bit of thought, right, and what it was, was that he told me that, so look, that's what it looks like, when he told me that, that it was portable, you could pretty much take it wherever you want with you, uh, so if you wanted to take it um, to work, because I'm going to, to be honest, for me, that is for my lunch time. And for when I'm traveling, that's what that's for. When I'm on the train or when I'm on the bus. There you go. My plans for it exposed. And what is that? Okay, so let's look at this stuff. Because I don't know the first thing about the switch. So I'm looking at this thing. I can't even imagine what that is. Looks like buttons. I'll figure out what this is. I don't know where, how to put that on that. So look, that's what it is. I have no idea. I know nothing about the Switch. The only reason I'm getting the Switch is for one simple reason. Bayonetta. Bayonetta 3 come out. And is coming out. And I don't want to get 
the Switch and Bayonetta at the same time. I don't want to be spending whatever money it is because that happened with my TV. So I've got like a 4K TV. Uh, it cost me uh, 1.2 in total and um, 1,200 pound. And that's the reason I've not got an Xbox One X because I don't want to. I don't want to think about the idea that I have spent 1,700 on an Xbox and a TV set up. I don't want to think about that. So basically, I've got the TV. I'm chilling, and once Xbox have shown me some good stuff, some proper good games, like legitimate good games. Then I'll get the Xbox One X. So, sorry, how dare me talking about that while I've got the the Nintendo Switch? How dare me, right? So yeah, what is that thing? Which I didn't even know what it was. This thing here. Let me put this here, just so that I know that's there. And let's look what else is in the box. And then he was telling me that he like the portable aspect of the actual console oh. oh I think I know what it is this goes on here must do no yeah no no oh, and it's tiny oh it feels really cheap one second well, it is just a holder. That feels super budget. Super, super budget and cheap. It all does. So this little gives... All the money went on the, the tech. No problem. All the money went onto the, the switch, the screen thing. That's nothing. That's just a, a holder. I'll figure it out. So, I'm trying to figure out what all these parts are. I don't know anything about Switch. And then he said it was the portable aspect of it. So I was going through it and um, yeah, I saw that there was a game that looked pretty interesting called Xenoblade Chronicles, basically. And the game looked pretty good. Okay, so that's just the HDMI cable. I'm actually going to use this on my main TV, right? I'm not going to have this on this TV. It's going to be on the big one. Because I'm hardly going to play it. Um, yeah. And I have the main in my front room. Everything is more for entertainment. This is more my... My cave. My gaming room. You know what I mean? So... For me personally, it's going to sound a bit odd. But this console is not for my gaming. This is for my entertainment. Slash when I've got a couple... Like maybe half an hour. An hour. To chill out. And play something while I'm talking to my friends that's what this console is there for it is what it is right so we're gonna keep this that's that there this is the power adapter yeah and so basically he was telling me that he wanted to get the console essentially because you can move about with it and I did a little bit of research very very tiny bit of research saw what the console was um, saw how much it was it came out about a year ago, and I'll be honest with you, I didn't even know the Switch was out until yesterday. <laughs> Blatant. I ain't gonna front. I'm not. I didn't know it was out. Right, because as I said to you before, um, I'm not as much of a gamer as I used to be. You know what I mean? I used to be a hard body gaming monster, right? But hell is all this shit. Looks very underwhelming, huh? I'm actually astounded at how underwhelmed I am by the console. What's wrong with me? Why am I so underwhelmed? It feels so cheap. It, like this is literally just a piece of plastic. It's literally a piece of plastic. A bit of plastic. It's the, the that this tablet. This tablet thing. That is. Or the end all and be all of this machine. Yes, that's it. That's this is the only thing that feels premium in this whole thing. Even this feels super cheap.
okay whatever so we'll see what its functions can do and yeah when i'm playing games when i'm outside i'm literally going to be playing the games it's the only reason that i got this console is because it can move, walk and talk and basically the highest thing is bayonetta she's basically the only reason that i got this console or else i wouldn't have got it but then i also did get Blade chronicles yeah so the game does look really really good uh I did have the Wii U, but I only got the Wii U for Bayonetta, and I only had one singular game on the Wii U, which was Bayonetta. I didn't get anything else. Right, so, uh, yeah. Yellow Blade Chronicles is the launch title game that I got for it, and I found out that this game only came out, like, this month. Like, this game has just been out just over two weeks, and I didn't even know that. Um, oh... See, I didn't even know this. They don't even do discs, they do cartridges. I don't even know that. <laughs> oh, mate. It's life, man. You know, when, when you have life and responsibilities and just stuff going on around you, yeah, you just don't get time. I'm still I'm still a gamer. I still love my cartoons. I still love um, my, my comics. My animations, movies, gaming, all that kind of stuff. But it's an indulgence opposed to a hobby. Now, because my time is literally filled with obligations and work and my relationship. All this stuff just gets bodied. There's no time for it. I'm so sad. But, you know, I'm in there. I'm in there. So, yeah. That's it, by the way. Empty. Oh, no, no, there's a little bit. Oh, that's another side for it. So, yeah, emptied out. So, I'm going to I'm gonna be playing this tonight. Well, I'm actually going to watch some Fate Stay Apocalypta, right? Because um, I watch it on Netflix, but Netflix, it only goes up to, like, episode 12. But I found on the internet that it goes all the way up to episode 23. So, I don't know what Netflix are doing. They're waiting until next year to bring out the next second season. While at them, Japan is just doing it. So, I'm actually going to watch it. How I watch it on my computer. Um, but, I still got my subscription to Netflix. So, I'm still doing the honest thing. And, yeah, after that. After I've set, finished setting this machine up. I'm going to be playing it. But, then I can bring it into my... I can bring it here. I don't need to be... Now, I think about it. I don't even need to set it up. Because I'm hardly ever going to play this machine while doing that, looking at the screen. That's how I played the Wii U. When I had the Wii U, I would actually set the Wii up so the Wii U so Bayonetta is playing on the main screen. But before I realised it, I'll be doing this. And I don't know when I did it, but the next thing I know, I find myself about 30 minutes later, I'm doing this. And I keep having to force myself to look up at the screen. I found, I caught myself doing that on Bayonetta um, 2. So then the, the thought occurs to me, why I don't actually need it to be on a screen. I'm literally going to put it on a place. And that's going to be my front room. And I'm just going to literally carry this with me. <gasps> carry it with me. Play it chill with it oh i locked it out okay no problem it locks in cool 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 no problem so yeah that's the wii u sorry the switch unboxing and as i said i'm late because i didn't even realize this machine was out <laughs> until um yesterday evening yeah um i'll be honest i don't really care about nintendo i don't really care about um the wii i don't care about the switch i don't care about nothing when it comes to nintendo I don't care. I'm being honest, right? Uh, so I'm literally getting this because of Bayonetta free, right? And I don't want to have. I don't want to have to just pay six hundred pounds. Boom, Wii U Bayonetta. I'd rather get it now. Get the Switch now. Get a game that looks really, really cool that can fill the time. Then when Bayonetta free drops, I'm in there, and that's that's that, that's basically the plan. And this is something for me to play on my lunch, something for me to play at work, something to play for me when I'm in transit, um, something to play when I'm at my girlfriend's house, and 
I shouldn't say any more than that. And basically just for me to like chill out and stuff like that. So it's it's a good little machine for me to just have, you know, and play, you know, quote unquote triple A games. And um, yeah, this is literally going to be for the exclusives. I'm literally only getting this game for the exclusives and that is it. I'm not going to be getting Monster Hunter on this game. I'm not going to be getting Street Fighter if Street Fighter comes out on the Switch. Literally, the exclusives. That's all this is for. And Bayonetta is an exclusive. So I'm in there. Exclusive. I'm in there. Right? And the Wii, the, the Switch is not backward compatible, which is a bit of a piss take, I think. Right? Um, hopefully, the Switch will last a little bit longer than the, the Wii U. And yeah, we'll go from there. So I mean, I say that I'm not into the I'm not into Nintendo, but I got the GameCube, I got the SNES, I got the NES, I got the Wii U, and I've got the Switch. So I say I say I'm not into Nintendo, but I get like all, the only Nintendo console I didn't get is the. The 3DS's and the NDS's and the DS's and all that kind of stuff, because that's all bullshit. Not into that rehashing, having to get a different version every f two, three years. Bollocks to that. And the Wii U. The Wii. Sorry, I didn't get the Wii, but I got the Wii U because of Bayonetta. Um, the GameCube, I got that game. Yeah, I got a couple of games. I got like Animal Farm, I got um, Tell Symphonia, I got the Metal Gear game. Um, Twin Snakes, I got Beautiful Joe, no, that was on the GameCube. Um, so I got a couple, now I think about it, I did get a couple games, I don't know. I'm just not a Nintendo fan, I just go where the games are. If you show me a game, and it's only on that console, I'll get the console just for that game. I can do it, I can afford it, I want it, so I'll do it. And life is full of, life is about getting what you want. It's that simple. The one, the one constant in this world of human desire is want. And if I want something and I can't get it, I'll get it. We're in there. Warriors, thank you for tuning in. Listen to me go on and on and on. Um, watch the unboxing. Um, yeah, I want to hear what you guys think, what you guys are feeling about the Nintendo Switch. Um, are you looking to pick it up? Have you already got it? Can you give me any tips? Because I know nothing about this machine. Nothing. The only thing I knew was, um, on my Christmas holiday, I wanted to treat myself. My friend, Leo Gammy, he told me about this. Um, saying that it's portable, I found that, that it actually is portable, you don't need to be near to the mother console, you don't need to have Wi-Fi internet in order for it to work, you can just play games on the go, cool, sign me up, right, so that's the only thing that I know about it, and we're going to go from there, I'll see what the games are like, they better, better be 1080p, I reckon it's probably going to be 1080p when it runs on the on the TV. And on the screen, it's most probably going to be 720p. I would bet my life on it. I'd bet my life on it. There's no way this console is doing 10, uh, it's doing 4K. No way. No way. You know, it'll probably do like 1080p or upscaled um, 920p and 1080p, 720p on here. No way this machine is doing 4K. Because this is the machine. That is absolute. Because this thing is just a, a piece of plastic with connections. USB. USB. Open up this. It says HDMI, USB, AC adapter. This thing is nothing. It's nothing. It's just. It's literally just a plastic hub with ports. That's a bit of plastic with something working. This is the machine, that's everything. Because everything else feels like cheap plastic. Listen to that. Listen. <laughs> Whatever, it is what it is, I don't care. So yeah, Warriors, thank you 
for tuning in. I want to hear what you guys think, what you guys feel. And yeah, we'll go from there. Warriors, um, I feel truly blessed. I hope you guys feel truly blessed because you're alive. Um, you get out of life what you put into life. You know what I mean? So yeah, just um, keep pushing forward. Um, do your best in life. Don't sit around doing nothing. Um, don't wait for things. To, don't wait for things to come to you. You have to go out and get stuff. And yeah, make life work for you. All right, warriors. Um, later and Merry Christmas.